Hello, hello, and welcome to Storytelling Bootcamp for Growth, brought to you by Team Ilzy B. I am Ilzy B. Berzina, life and business coach. Wow. But this... why did I call this Storytelling Bootcamp for Growth? Well, because I am all about growth. I don't know if you have heard Tony Robbins talking about six people or human needs. So growth is one of those needs. And the need for growth is uh, probably my most dominant need. So uh, I am creating this bootcamp for everybody who also has that need for growth. The first story type is the core story. And the core story is probably the most important story to have for your business. Like everybody really, really needs to have the core story because if you don't have a core story, then your messaging, uh, when you try to build your brand may sound random. People might not get you. Uh, I think um, it's time to actually dive into the, into the storytelling because that's why we are all here for, right? And the Uh, first guest is um, Scott Thomas, who is actually my friend uh, who later signed up to experience coaching with me. And now he's also transitioning to become my partner, uh, part-time business partner. And um, hi, Scott. (laughs) Thank you for joining me. Yeah. So, So Scott Thomas has 20 years of experience in working in analytics sales coaching, training, quality improvement, process design and improvement, root cause analysis and leadership. And um, over his career, he has worked in and with companies of all sizes from startups to Fortune 500 listed and in all types of industries. Scott has bachelor's degrees in management and uh, in and applied economics from Cornell University and an MBA degree from the University of Pittsburgh. And Scott is also an active participant and leader in local Toastmasters international speaking organizations, which is actually where I met Scott. So how about we just dive straight in and uh, are you ready to share your story? I'm ready. All right. Go ahead. Okay, fantastic. So the floor is yours, Scott. Well, thank you, Ilzi. I appreciate the opportunity to be here and, and share a little bit about my story. I was on my way in for a performance review one morning, feeling re- relatively confident about myself. My numbers had been good. My previous reviews had all been stellar. My customers were happy. We were all making money. It was just another day headed to the office. As I got to our local office about an hour away from where I was living, I was taken into a conference room and my anxiety level started to rise a little bit. They made it clear my services were no longer needed. I was fired. Just saying that word now still resonates, hits me in the gut a little bit. Fired. What have I, I've enjoyed most and where I found I have a real strength is in stripping away all the extra, extra stuff that seems to hang in the air when we're trying to solve a really complex problem or make a decision that's difficult. Getting it down to what actually matters in those circumstances. What is important? Now you would think I've got safety, I've got security, I'm doing something I enjoy that I sometimes still get to do, that I'd be happy. And for a time I've told myself that I am. The universe though, as it tends to do, decided to give me a very, subtle, gentle push in the right direction late last year, the way that the universe usually does. Everything was great. One doctor even told me I have the heart of an Olympic athlete. I have nothing else body-wise of an Olympic athlete, but the heart, the heart I've got. About a month, month and a half after the first event, I went in for my last 
test to see if there's anything else they can possibly find before they gave me a clean bill of health that everything was exactly how it should be. And as they were preparing me to go in, it happened again. My heart stopped beating. Yeah, I'm misusing the words. So why did you choose these two uh, events of your life to, sh uh, to share with us within your story? Yeah, that's a great question. And I always go over time, so I apologize. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, these, those two stories for me, and, and we'll talk more about it for those folks who are interested in doing the deep dive. But one of the most important things you can do when you're telling this type of story or any of the types of stories people are going to hear this week is figure out how to connect with your audience. And there's, there's nothing really that connects with people more than being vulnerable. You know, everybody. Yes, uh, absolutely. So what I also wanted to point out, and we are going to see more vulnerability in this group uh, during the upcoming days. What I also wanted to point out two more things before. is that um, you had actually two stories within one story. Mm -hmm. And uh, you talked first. You talked about your you yourself profes professionally and your mm -hmm. journey uh, as a professional and how you mm -hmm. actually had this unsuspecting like happy happy life, <laughs> right? And then you fell into this big yeah. ditch, and then you had to figure out how to uh, climb out of that ditch and your mm -hmm. thought process on the way, you know, back mm -hmm. up. And then about you called them handcuffs. Yep. security and what was it uh, security basically yeah almost synonyms and uh, yes and then um yeah and then again you have sort of a happy life but mm -hmm. then a life event happens mm -hmm. and how that changes the the whole narrative right so when yeah. i start coaching i typically uh, ask people to uh share with me their vision and from the perspective life perspective and only mm -hmm. then if i do business coaching we narrow it down to the business uh, perspective because we want that uh, business to be a uh, happy business and congruent with your life values and uh, time as i now understand and probably health is your priorities uh, and they yeah. are they are mine as well so this resonates uh, really really well with me so i see